Hello, my name is Dimitri, and today I'm going to show you how you can use a product called Exis Echo to discover data duplications in a wide variety of data sources, such as Excel spreadsheets, Microsoft SQL Server, delimited flat files such as comma, tab delimited, or what have you, ODBC enabled databases, XML sor sources, or a Postgres database. You can download a trial version of Exis Echo by going to www.exisecho.com and going to the download section. The trial version is fully functional. We want you to try it before you buy it. Uh, you can send us an email to info at exisecho.com if you have any questions. Exis Echo uses a concept called fuzzy logic to discover data duplications in your data source. Fuzzy logic helps us to see differences where there might be a spelling problem, for example, such as Gonzalez with an S versus Gonzalez with a Z, or where there's a phonetic difference like Smith versus Smythe, or if we have an abbreviation like 123 Main Street abbreviated versus 123 Main Street spelled out, or Bob Smith versus Robert Smith where there's a name synonym. Let's get started. I've prepared an example for you today. I have an Excel spreadsheet which has 1,000 contacts. This is typical of information that you might have. This is 1,000 contact names with email addresses and phone numbers. And also there's a contact ID to help us identify individual contacts. When you download and install Exis Echo, it'll appear as an icon on your desktop like so. I'm going to double click it. And when the program opens up, the first thing it's going to do is going to ask you to select a data source. Today we're going to work with Excel spreadsheets, so I'm just going to click on Excel here in the radio button above. It's going to ask us to select an Excel file. This Excel file here is available for download with Exis Echo, so you can try exact, exactly the same thing that I'm doing here today. You can click Open It. It's going to ask you to select a worksheet. There's only one worksheet here. Exis Echo works with one worksheet at a time. You can click on Test Excel Connection. What this will do is show you first few records in that worksheet. This is so you can verify for yourself that the uh, data that you're expecting to see and the data you're trying to find is the data in that Excel spreadsheet. The next thing we're going to do here is select columns. This is very important. Select columns will show you all the different columns in your data source in the row format, like so, because you can see contact, contact name, email address, phone number. And it's going to ask us to pick a search column. What that means is that's the column it's going to use to detect duplications in your data source. What we recommend doing is selecting just one or two different columns for this kind of a process. You don't want to select too many for this. So I'm going to start off by so just selecting one contact name. We are looking for names that are similar or the same. I'm going to click on Save Settings. The next thing after that is a little slider here that goes from exact to approximate. And what this allows you to do is say, OK, well, I'm looking for either very exact matches or not very exact matches. It goes from 0 to 100. And we recommend that you set this as low as possible to start with. So I'm going to leave this at 0 for now. And I'll show you how this works a little bit later. There's an Advanced Option button. Click on that. There's a whole bunch of settings in here, and it, it is not within the scope of this short video for me to show you every option in here. Suffice it to say two things. There is contextual help available if you click on a, a question mark here. There's a long description of every option that is available here. All I'm going to do for you here today is I'm going to click on this button here that says Default for Name Search. We allow you to do this so you don't have to mess around with these different settings, so it's very easy for you to just click on this. This, this basically identifies all the different options that are optimized for looking up first, last name kind of information. Click on Save Settings. Now I'm ready to do my first duplicate search. I'm going to click on Find Duplicates. This asks me to select a, a file to the output to. Uh, Exis Echo will output to text files. They're delimited so that later you can import it into Excel spreadsheet if you like. I'm going to select an output file. I'm going to select one I already have here. Uh, save previously. I'm going to hit save. It's going to yell at me. That's okay. Say yes. Next thing I'm going to do here is select the number of threads. Number of threads identifies really how powerful your computer is because some of these searches, if you have a million rows, for example, can take a little time. So this number optimizes the search engine to be as fast as possible based on the hardware you have available. On this computer that I'm running here, I have an i7-920 chip, which is a quad-core chip, but it has hyper-threading with eight threads available, so I'm going to put in eight. As a rule of thumb, for example, if you have a dual-core processor, you're going to put number two in there. 
If you have a quad core, you would want to put four. You can play with this setting to see what the best performance will be. At this point, I'm ready to go. I'm going to click start, start search. It's asking me that it's going to override the file. That's fine because that's where I'm outputting to. It's going to load the data into memory. That's how this program operates. And it's going to give me some idea of how much time there is remaining to, to finish. And what it's go doing right now is going through and checking everything for duplicates. And it's done. And I can have an option here to open it in Notepad to take a look at it. I'm going to say yes. So let's see what we got. The very first one, look at it. Aaron Khan versus Mr. Aaron Khan. Clearly, this is a duplication because it has the same phone number. And there are two different contact IDs. That means it really appears twice in my Excel spreadsheet that I'm using. So this needs to be looked at. If you have this kind of data, you may want to take a look and clean it up. This is what this product is used for. I then have Abigail Barnes and Abigail Barnes. But notice that the phone number is very different. And also the email is very different. So this really can't be the same contact. So let's refine our search a little bit. I'm going to close this up. I'm going to go back to select columns. And now I'm going to pick phone number. What I'm, going to, what, what I'm doing here is I'm going to say, okay, give me all the duplications that have the same contact name and the same phone number. I'm going to click on Save Settings. I'm going to click on Find Duplicates again. I'm going to start search. It's going to yell at me, of course. It's going to load all the data into memory again. And now it's going to compare two columns rather than just one. It's going to take maybe another six seconds to complete. It's telling us that right there. And here it is. It's coming up. Here it's done. I'm going to click Yes. It only found one which had the same phone number and the same name. Now, th this is good, but I know my data source and I know that there have to be spelling errors there. There's got to be some other du duplicates there that this did not come up with. So, all right. So, I'm going to say, okay, I'm going to play some more games with this. I'm going to go back. And this is where we start to see the real power in this product. I'm going to move this slider up from 0 to approximately 12. It doesn't really matter. And I'm going to f say find duplicates again. I'm going to start search. File exists over it. Yes. It's going to load all the data into memory again. It's going to tell me how much it has, how much time it has available left. It's giving me all kinds of little interesting pieces of information that I can use. And here I go. And it's done. It says duplicate check complete. Open in file and notepad. Yes. Let's take a look at what we got. The first one we already know. Aaron Khan versus Mr. Aaron Khan with the same phone number. So we know that's a duplicate. We found it. Great. Now take a look at the next one. The next one is Aaron Gonzalez with an S versus Aaron Gonzalez with a Z. It, again, is the same phone number. There's a column here uh, under approximation that identifies that number four. This, this, these two values are 4% apart. In other words, they're very, very close. So this really must be a duplicate because it has the same phone number, as I can see, and the same email. Now, the next one here differs by only one letter. And the phone number is not exactly identical. It's the four last four digits are a little different. So this could be a duplicate. Or maybe this is not a duplicate. I don't know. I'd have to know something about my own data to figure that out. But at least I can find those kinds of uh, duplications in my data source. Look at this one. Amy G-A-O-G-U-O-O-M-A. -O These are potential duplicates because they have the same phone number and the same last four, three, uh, last four digits in their phone number. And they are 0, 8, and 12% apart. I hope you can see that Exis Echo is a very user-friendly product that allows you to find data duplications in your data source very quickly. I only really scratched the surface of what this product is capable of in this very short 10 minute video. Please download the product and read the help. There's a lot more information there. We're also preparing another series of videos to show you different aspects of this product. Thank you for listening and we are standing by to serve you.